What's up, everybody? Andy Drifter here. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you're all having a great start to your weekend. You are looking at a sealed light box of Topps Chrome 2021 Platinum Anniversary Edition. These are hands down my favorite cards at the moment. I believe this is either my fourth or fifth video opening up these cards, and I've had some pretty good luck with them. So hopefully that streak will continue. And with that being said, let's crack these open and see what we can find. 16 packs in this box, four cards per pack. And away we go. Oh, right off the rip. A Ty Cobb. Look at this. A red variant, 95 out of 100. Hall of Famer. Beautiful card there. Not a bad way to start off, folks. Daniel Murphy. The great Tino Martinez. And Miggy. Joe Maurer, he's going to be an interesting Hall of Fame candidate when his time comes up. Uh, I don't know. He's a former MVP. No rings, no World Series appearances. But over the years, it seems like they've lowered the standard for those who get into the Hall of Fame. And that's only why I bring it up. Taylor Widener, rookie card. Justin Dunn. And a Don Sutton, another great pitcher, Rainbow Variant. Eddie Alvarez, the best defensive third baseman of all time, Brooks Robinson. Although Nolan Arenado, he may have something to say about that when it's all said and done for him. Joey Wendell, Scott Pensednik. Oh, man, John Cruck. Oh, I see some color coming up. This guy was a absolute fan favorite. And uh, even though he was overweight, he could flat out rake. And he did finish with a career batting average of over 300. And he was also an actor. Uh, if you ever seen 1995's The Fan with Wesley Snipes and Robert De Niro, Truck played one of Wesley Snipes' teammates on the Giants. Tom Seaver, Seth Romero, and a rough Ned Odor. He will most notably always be known for that punch to Jose Bautista, one of the cleanest punches ever in an MLB brawl. Knocked his shades right off. Fun fact, when he was signed to the Rangers, in addition to money, he asked for several horses. And the Bushes gave him a couple of horses. He is now with Baltimore. Brandon Workman, Trey Mancini. Uh, he may no longer be an Oriole. I know his name was mentioned on the trading block. Devin Williams and 2022 Hall of Fame inductee Jim Cott. Mark Mathias, Will Smith, Steven Strasberg,
Dansby Swanson having a great year. Ah, oh, the great Daryl Strawberry. Ruben Sierra had some great years with the Rangers, Oakland, Yankees. He played for a lot of teams. What do we have here? Da -da 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 -da. Garrett Crochet, rookie card. Alex Kirilov, Mike Soroka, Evan White, and Joey Votto, who hit a blast last night. Hall of Famer Craig Biggio, Max Fried, Vladdy Jr., and Will Myers. Robin Roberts, Hall of Famer Billy Williams, the Jeets, Derek Jeter, and Jordan Holloway. Goose Gossage, Hall of Famer. AJ Pollock, the Cobra, Dave Parker. Well, we got an X Fractor of Monty Harrison. Rookie card. Not familiar with him, but a great card nonetheless. Pavin Smith, Jesse Winker, Brent Rooker, Sean Murphy. Beautiful. Michael Brantley, David Dahl, Roberto Clemente, and we have here a Chipper Jones. Three more packs. And I must say, I am quite pleased with what I've gotten thus far. John Means, Jonathan Stever, Yandy Diaz, and Roy Oswalt. see some color. Ian Anderson, Gregory Polanco, Adam Wainwright, Tyler Malley. And final pack. Bobby Abreu, I believe he won a home run derby. I want to say it was an 03. Could be wrong about that. Pablo Lopez, Chadwick Trump. Is this a. Oh, a Ferguson Jenkins. Hall of Famer. Wow. This box was rife with Hall of Famers. But there it is. Okay, time for a quick review. Let's start off with this Aqua Wave variant of Cincinnati Reds pitcher Tyler Malley. Last year, he went 13 and 6. He led the National League in games started with 33, and he struck out 210 batters in 180 innings. It was the best year of his career. This year, he has regressed a bit. He is currently 4 and 7, and his ERA is just under a 5. Next up is a base card of Hall of Famer and five-time World Series champion Derek Jeter. I only bring this card up because of the documentary that is currently running on ESPN. It is a seven-part series. It's called The Captain. It chronicles his life both on and off the field. I have not watched it yet, but I will watch it in the very near future, and perhaps I will do a review about it once I do. 
This is an X-Fractor rookie card of Monty Harrison. As you can see here, he is in Marlins gear, but now he is part of the Angels. He is an outfielder, and through nine games this season, he is batting underneath the Mendoza line. Then we have the Mini Diamond Black and White SPs of Sean Murphy, Roughnet Odor, and Fergie Jenkins. Let's briefly talk about Ferguson Jenkins. He is a Hall of Famer. He finished his career with a 3.34 ERA and I believe 284 wins. He had seven seasons where he had 20 plus wins, five seasons where he finished in the top three in Cy Young voting. He did win one Cy Young. He made three all-star teams, but there is one glaring omission from his resume in 19 seasons of pitching in the big leagues. He never once made a postseason appearance. Totally not his fault. Uh, he's one hell of a nice guy. I got a chance to meet him in Buffalo a few years ago at an autograph signing. And there it is. Great looking card. And like I always do, I save the best for last. You are looking at an Atomic Red SP of the first player ever inducted into the Hall of Fame, Ty Cobb. Beautiful looking card, as you can see. It is number 95 out of 100. He finished his career with a 366 batting average. That is the best of all time. He is second on the all-time hits list with 4,189. Over 700 career doubles. 295 career triples. The man was an absolute beast. Now off the field... There were issues. He had a hair trigger temper. He was not afraid to fight. There is one account of him going into the stands and beating down a heckler who was harassing him for almost a year. But a lot of the horrific stories about him turned out to be absolute myths. That he once threw a man down the stairs just because he was black. That's been refuted that he murdered at least three people. There are conflicting stories about that. He was baseball's first real superstar, and he was a complicated character, no doubt. But I believe a lot of the stories about him were exaggerated. And he did have a human side to him from everything I've read. So there it is. Look, I want to thank you for taking the time out to watch my video. I want you to enjoy your Saturday. But if you can, stay tuned because I got something great planned to, for tonight. I think this will uh, entertain you at the very least. So stay tuned, take care, be safe, and I'll see you again in a few hours.